So I made a video about what fragrances do I like to wear indoors, not only now during these times, but in general. But there are some other fragrances which can be misleading, can trick you into thinking that they could be appropriate to be worn indoors, could be easy to be worn indoors, but when in fact they are not and they could actually be very offending. And here are some examples. And here I'm not going to talk about oud fragrances, you know, skanky oud kind of fragrances, very strong, very sweet, very powerful fragrances. No, I'm talking about these kind of fragrances. Aquatic fragrances which can be too strong, too sweet, like Nautica Voyage. Just by looking at the bottle, you will think that this is an easy to wear fragrance. Not actually, not only indoors, this could be offending, but actually in the high heat of summer, the sweetness of this fragrance could be very offending and it could make you sick. It happened to me and it happened to my partner as well. Very nice fragrance, very strong, one of the best for the price, but it's one of the fragrances which not that easy to wear indoors. Now here's a fragrance coming from a niche house, Serge Joutin's, and the fragrance is Laine de Verre. Now this fragrance is very very citrusy and when you hear about citrus and when you think about citrus you think that it's something good, right? It's something refreshing, it's something that you can easily wear indoors. Well, it's too much, too citrusy, too strong, too synthetic. It smells like window cleaner. It has that window cleaner type of smell, you know, that synthetic lemon, but amped up, more strength added to it. It does have its own purpose, but that's something I will discuss when I'm going to review this fragrance. I do keep it for a reason. And now a Neroli fragrance, which I did say Neroli is a note which makes fragrances easy to wear, relaxing, comforting, pure, all the good stuff. Al Haramein Neroli canvas. A clone of Neroli Portofino from Tom Ford, but with more strength added to it, more lasting power, a bit more sweet. And all these things I've mentioned just now make this fragrance too much to be worn indoors. It's too strong, guys. An Aroli fragrance which is too strong to be worn indoors. Don't get me wrong, this is a great fragrance, but it's not appropriate to be worn indoors. And these are some of the few examples of what kind of fragrances I'm avoiding to wear indoors because they might seem easy to wear, easy going fragrances at first glimpse, but when you put them on, for example, if I put this fragrance on right now, I would have to wash myself later because it's too much. Until the next time, keep smelling great.